Hello, astronauts, Trix here, and welcome to Kerbal Space Program. This game, in case you don't already know what it is, is one of my favorite games of all time. And it is one of the three games that I've played over a hundred hours of on Steam. Those three games being Terraria at about 625 hours, Kerbal Space Program at 106 hours, and Prison Architect at about 103 hours. So, if it's one of the three games that I have over 100 hours in, it's a pretty solid game. Um, there will be a special intro for this series sometime soon. I'll have to make that eventually, but that will be something in the future. And a thumbnail, I'm going to be having that. But anyways, let's start a game. Hello, Valentina, you are missing a visor. They still haven't patched that. We're going to start a new game, and we are going to call it Let's Play, because we're boring. And we're not going to be doing the career mode. I don't enjoy that. We're going to be doing science mode. And then our flag. I have many, 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 many custom flags. Yes, that was a Nazi flag you saw. It's funny and edgy and Confederacy flag. Um, but we can change our flag whenever with a little secret tip that I learned, but for now, tell me what you guys want in the comments below, but for now, I think that we are going to go with the... Bum -ba -da -dum. Hmm. Let's go with the flag of the most noble nation of them all, Canada. Will be the Toronto Maple Leaf uh, Space Program. Anyways, in case you don't know what Kerbal Space Program is, you run a sp you run your own NASA basically. Thanks, Gene Kerman, but I've got it. Where are my textures? Um, basically, what you do is you run your own NASA with these little green guys called Kerbals. Uh, th th that sounded like I was explaining to a two-year-old with little green guys called Kerbals. But anyways, you use your Kerbals and you take them to places and you explore new worlds you go what was the star trek opening lines again i don't know you're going to kill a lot of people but for right now to get anywhere we only have like three parts or something so we're going to need some science which means we're going to need a pod so let's do that with the most noble flag of canada in the background and let's see here what have we got we have just the basic mach 1 command pod we have no fuel tanks a flea solid fuel booster and no struck no command things a uh, girder for structure and some fins for aerodynamics and that is essentially it we also have a parachute which is very important um, let me tell you there have been many missions where my Kerbals have not been able to come home due to me not having a parachute and of course, in order to get science, we need something to actually capture the science. And so we have the Mystery Goo Containment Unit. So we're going to put two of those on. If I can align them properly. There we go. Two using hotkeys like a pro. We're going to call this the Flea after the engine. And let's see what we have for the crew. We have Jebediah Kerman, uh, Bill Kerman, Bob Kerman, and Valentina Kerman. Uh, Jeb is the pilot, Bill's the engineer, Bob is the scientist, and Valentina is also a pilot. Um, the engineer, he is good at, I think, fixing stuff. The scientist can get more science, and the pilot is better at flying planes. I'm going to stick with Jebediah, because who doesn't want Jebediah? Jebediah is awesome. And then, of course, we need to stage our rocket properly. We don't want... Actually, I'll show you guys what we don't want. What we don't want is this. Awkward silence while it loads. I should really install this on my SSD. That's a great idea. Anyways, what we don't want is this. The chute to deploy right as the rocket takes off, causing us to spin out of control and garner no science. But that beautiful smoke looks awesome. Anyways, let's revert the flight to the launch, and we will stage this up properly. Alrighty, when it loads up, there we go, we're going to add a second stage, put the booster on the bottom so that we can control it and get as far as possible into space. I didn't put a thrust limiter on this, dang it, um, should have done that, but anyways, we don't really need to worry about our altitude, we just need to get into space, so let's take off. 
straight up out of Compton. Man, we are we are really flying there. How do I what's my screenshot key? No, that's not it. Uh that's the record key, is it F3? That is not it. That is a hotkey. F5, dang it, no. Um F11. Nope, that's wrong. F12, aerodynamic. Uh I forgot my screenshot key. Um I'll just use insert. Anyways, let's see here. We are almost at our apoapsis. Uh, we should actually get our signs right now because the apoapsis, in case you don't know, is the highest point. So now that we're falling, we're going to observe this mystery goo. For seven signs, we're going to get a crew report. For an additional 3.5 cents, we're going to quick save. And then we're going to get an EVA report while we're still. Oh, that was a bad idea. 5.6 signs. Reload the quick save. There we go, we'll get an EVA report as we are plummeting to the ground. Actually, I'll open up my parachute up here. And so, then once we land again, we will observe the second Mystery Goo Containment Unit. Um, I already got the crew report. So let's see, we are coming back down, we are 4,000 meters away. Let's check the cockpit for the radio. It's vertical. Uh, radar altitude, I mean, still at no track. All right, let's um. Once we start slowing down, we'll get out, and get an EPA report. Oh, look at that gorgeous sun! I need to get some mods on my Kerbal Space Program, like a cloud mod and a weather mod, so that it looks better for you guys on the YouTube's. Cause I'm, I am not suffering a loss of frames. There we go. The shoot's open. Let's get an EVA report now. There we go. Five point six science and board it. B for board. It's no longer F. Um, that's interesting. Why? Everything gets darker when you go in the parachute. But anyways, we are coming down. Let's just time warp it up a little bit. Not too much. And slow down. There we go. It doesn't have my flag there. It has this Kerbal Space Program flag. That's interesting. Observe the mystery goo. We get three science. Let's get out. Let's drop off. And let's get a surface sample of the tarmac. Nine science. All right, launch pad gives us nine science. This gives us two point four science. And now let's recover Jebediah, and then we'll go and to the space center and recover the rocket as well for a bunch of science. This is gonna be great. This is, let's see here. We already got sixteen point four science. Jebediah is ready for his next mission. Uh, I clicked the wrong thing, but we can still recover this from here. Come on, recover the flea. All right, 36 science, wowza. All right, so let's see what we can get in the science and research facility. Whoa, what's the lighting doing? We have 36 science to spend. Basic rocketry costs five. That gives us the Reliant LVT-30 engine with only 200 max thrust, um, but 215 in the vacuum, and the hammer solid rocket booster, and the FL-1000... And we get Engineering 101, or we can get General Rocketry. Actually, yeah, we can get General Rocketry with the Swivel Engine, which has less thrust, but it has a swivel, which means it's more stable. A Thumper Solid Fuel Booster, which is good, because that's a big booster for our size, and then another fuel tank. And then we can also get Engineering with the Cockpit, the Science Junior, the Communitron, and the Decoupler. Decouplers are very important. And you know what else is very important? Struts. So we're going to need 45 science to get struts. So let's just see if we can whip that up real quick with a new spacecraft and then we'll end off this first episode. Anyways, new craft. Here we go. Flag of Canada. We're going to get the MK1 command pod because we don't have any parachutes that will work with the cockpit. Uh, decoupler. Because we need that. Alright, let me see here actually. We're gonna get ourselves some science, boys. There we go. Um, come on, come on, there we go. Come on, hit me, I want you to hit me. That was a terrible impression, I'm sorry. I'll never do that again. Attach some science. Don't need a communitron, because we don't need to be communicating. All right, let's see what fuel tanks we got. Let's just strap a solid fuel booster onto it. What's the worst that could happen? Am I right or am I right? Um. Fins. Fins are also very important. We'll add four. We don't have control surface fins yet. We'll call this the bigger flea. There we go. 
The bigger flea is ready for takeoff. Is it Jebediah? It is Jebediah. Jebediah is awesome. All right, so let's head out to the launch pad. We don't have any clamps yet, so that means we can't position our craft above the pad, but instead we'll just have to shoot it directly off the pad. So your SAS on. The command module has its own basic SAS, but it's not as good as the later SAS modules. Uh, forgot to do a thrust loader on this one again. But we don't care about height. Let's go! Let's go! Go into space! The edge of space! Oh, yeah. Anyways, I've already done a Trex plays on this game. Don't know how many of you guys have seen that, but that is a thing that I've done. Wow, those fins are going to explode. This is going to be entertaining. So, in the playlist that I made for this series, that will be at the very beginning. But after we see how much science we can get, man, this is going way too fast. Um, yeah, if we had thrust limited this, actually, we could have gotten a lot higher. That was a terrible launch. We are going to revert that to the vehicle assembly, add a thrust limiter to the solid rocket booster. Uh, there we go. We'll do it at, f I think, 45%. There we go. Close enough. All right, let's launch the bigger flea. And this time we should get even higher than we were going to get. Maybe even to the edge of space. You know, in space, nobody can hear you scream. Take off! Nice slow takeoff. That's good. We have cleared the flagpole. There used to be a tower, but it's gone. Don't know what happened to it. Um, nice thing about science mode is we don't have to upgrade our space center. And it just comes fully upgraded. If we were doing career mode, we'd start off with like a dirt launch pad and a terrible one story VAB. But I don't like career mode that much. Uh, people like it, some people don't like it. I'm one of the ones that doesn't like it. I prefer the science mode where you get science and do science and science, man. Anyways, Jebediah Kerman looking thrilled as ever. He is absolutely insane. He's like, Jack Nicholson. Oh no. Oh no. We pushed sp space bar on accident. Oh no. So we are just. We're not even attached to this solid rocket booster at the moment. Um, which is a slight problem. Because in NASA and rocket science in general, you kind of want to be attached to the rocket if you want to go anywhere. So the only thing keeping us on is me not hitting one of the WASAD keys and toppling us off the top. Oh boy, this is going to be fun, isn't it, kids? We Are we at our apoapsis? Wow! Could this reach space? We have to reach... Yep! We are going to space! Wow! Okay. Aw, oh, 92,000. That's still in space, though, because the edge of space... Oh, look at that. We detached from the rocket booster. That's cool. Um, the edge of space... In Kerbal Space Program is actually 70,000, 69,000 blocks, uh, not blocks, meters. Um, and so we're at 92, which means we're outside Kerbin's sphere of influence, which is pretty great. And we're about to break space right here. We're out of the atmosphere. There we go. Going to 92,000 blocks, meters. Man. <sighs> Gosh, I need to get. All right, I'm sure that one. Uh, in almost at 92,000 meters to get some sweet, sweet, juicy science. Mm, yeah. Oh, wrong button. Come on. Slow down time, because we live in the matrix. All right, we're at our apoapsis. Let's get ourselves a materials bay observation for a whopping 25 science. Mystery goo observation for 10 science. An EVA report for 8 science. A crew report for five science. What else can we get? We want to save this, Mr. Goo. Or do we? Uh, another ten science. Actually, we'll do that during a re-entry. We don't have a heat shield. This could be a slight problem. Um, because generally in NASA they need a heat shield to re-enter the atmosphere, but. 
Oopsie daisy, we'll just see if we survive. Um oh no 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 come on get down get down collect that science collect it collect it yes collect the data yes remove the data I don't care collect collect the data okay okay there we go we're safe now data is stored in case these get destroyed the data has been stored which is good we need to be doing that on missions I need to remember to do that anyways during re-entry we're going to test out this mystery view and see if we get any science from that but yeah and then we'll take a surface sample when we get down here as well as another EVA report and stuff and then we'll put a flag down to mark our first landing and return from space and then we'll end off the episode after we see what science we get so here we go. Re-entry. Very, very steep re-entry. We could just explode upon impact. We're going a thousand meters per second, and we're trying to re-enter the... Oh boy, oh boy. Okay, here we go. Let's observe the mystery goo during re-entry. Nine science. Okay. It seems to be getting very cold now. No! Don't fall over! This is terrible. Something terrible has happened. Come on, slow down, slow down, slow down. We are essentially a lawn dart. This is not good. Let's deploy the chute. The chute has been destroyed. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Okay, Jebediah, you've turned into a lawn dart. Things are going to plan. They're just not going to plan. Things aren't going to plan. They're just not going to plan. Hey! Oh boy, do we have time? It is 9.57. I think that we do. Let's try that again. We are not going to detach this time. We are going to angle ourselves with the curvature of the curb in so that we don't burn up in the atmosphere and become a lawn dart. Let's start leaning over now. It's going to be kind of hard getting into space the first time because I haven't played this game in a while. I've been waiting for the series uh, to finish up Minecraft so that I could start this series. But I, they changed the aerodynamics and the full release of the game from what everybody was used to for so long. And so everybody's a bit confused and dazed and dazed and confused. Um, but yeah, but I just said but twice trying to get one point across. Anyways, everybody's a bit confused, but it seems to have been straightened out because of Scott Manley. That was terrible. I'm never doing that again. That was terrible. But Scott Manley is essentially all things. Uh, there's the aerodynamic forces overlay. That's good. We want that red thing right down the engine. But Scott Manley is essentially all things Kerbal Space Program. If you want to be good at Kerbal Space Program, go watch a Scott Manley video because he's smart and we're dumb and he's probably going to be a dictator someday and that controls all his Kerbal Space Program minions to launch a better space program or something like that. I don't know. I should just stop talking because we're almost out of fuel which would be bad except it's a good thing if you know what I mean. Yeah, Apoapsis even higher this time. It was 92,000 last time. This time it's 116,000 meters. We're going to just warp to the apoapsis. Discard the stage. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, discard the stage. What is it doing? I don't know. Turn off the aerodynamic forces overlay. Let's see here. And we are almost at the pinnacle of our apoapsis. Sweet. We'll discard the stage, do some sweet science, and return to curb, and hopefully this time we'll actually survive. We're going to land in the water. So, yeah. All right. Uh, warp is good. There we go. Discard the stage for a little extra boost. Let's observe the materials bay. Keep that science. Only 20. Oh, wait. 25 science. That's actually better. Oh, yeah. It's the same. 10 science. Crew report. 5 science, EVA report, again, for 8 science boarding, um, turn this way so that we go smoothly into the atmosphere, and then we're going to warp down to about there, and we'll see how we hold up. Dang it, dang it, dang it, stop warping, stop warping, stop warping, quick save, okay, EVA, move down a little bit, collect, 
collect the data. Collect the data. Collect the data. Collect collect the data. Remove anyway. Board again. Come on, board. There we go. Data is stored. Now we're going to observe this. So that way if these are destroyed during re-entry, we'll still have the science. And not everything will be lost. We're going to observe this one during re-entry. So let's just warp there. We are going to try and match the um, pro grade retro grade vector. Still don't know my different grades and stuff. I should probably learn that soon. Pro grade, retrograde, normal, and normal. Pro grade and retrograde are the important ones. We need to match the retrograde icon so that way we go with the way that our velocity wants us to go. Oh boy, now we enter into the atmosphere. This is going to be fun. Let's see here. We are coming down. We are in the like the second topmost atmosphere where it's kind of space but kind of atmosphere. It's like one of those kids that's been held back so much you don't know if he's going to graduate next year or if he's going to have another year of high school. Yeah. Anyways, these are dying. Let's match the retrograde vector and observe this mystery goo. Just hope it survives. That's nine science. That's pretty good. Uh, we are slowing down. Oh boy, we tipped over back in lawn dart mode. Oh, reentry is going to be a problem. 8,000, 6,000, 5,500. Come on, come on. Slow down, slow down. Open the chute. Chute was destroyed. This is not good. Jebediah, I believe in you. Okay, RCS pack to the rescue and shift. Press shift. Everything was destroyed. We're going to die. We're going to have to end off the episode. So, yeah, until next time, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Kerbal Space Program. Oh, we actually survived. We're paralyzed, but we actually survived. I will see you all next time, and goodbye.